afternoon, Facebook world, internet, and anyone else who's watching from their platform. It's Coach Foy again coming at you for workout number two of Feeling Fit with Coach Foy. I hope you enjoyed workout number one. I hope you and your family did, did it, had some fun doing it, uh, burned some calories, and just mainly just moved a little bit more than you normally do. So we have workout number two today for you. It's a little bit different than yesterday's workout, so I hope you enjoy it. Before we get started, like yesterday, I have two quotes for you. One's from me, one's just a random inspirational quote. So the one from me today says this, I'm feeling skinny, Tony. And you're probably thinking, what in the world is that from? The line, I'm feeling skinny, Tony, is from one of my favorite movies called Heavyweights. And in it, there's this trainer named Lars, and he's working out and he tells his trainer, I'm feeling skinny, Tony. So I hope today, while you're doing this, you'll tell your parent or your sibling, hey, I'm feeling skinny. All right? My next inspirational quote is something I tell my students all the time, and they look at me like I'm some kind of crazy person. And the quote is this, you weren't born potty trained. And you're probably thinking, what in the world does that mean? I wasn't born potty trained? Well, here's my point. A lot of times in P, my students will tell me, coach, I can't do that, or it's too hard, or I don't know how to do it. And I tell them, you gotta practice, you gotta try, and eventually you'll learn how to do it. And it's the same thing with potty training. When you were born as a baby, you weren't potty trained, you had to learn. And you didn't tell your mom when you're four, mom, I give up, I can't potty train. I'm just gonna poop in my pants every day. No, you kept working until you became potty trained. So that's our goal today. If we do something that's hard, or maybe you can't do it, just keep trying and eventually, you'll get it. All right, well, let's get started with our warm-up today. We're gonna to do about a two-minute warm-up to get our body warmed up, get our muscles loose. If you're a little sore from yesterday, this will help work out that soreness, all right? So we're gonna get started what we call standing mountain climbers. So you're just gonna do this. Knees up, hands up, reaching like you're climbing a mountain. You're at the bottom of Everest, you gotta to get to the top before nighttime. And we're just working through it, reaching as high as we can, get your knees up, keep breathing, stay relaxed, and just get loose. All right, now we're gonna to switch to what's called scissor kicks. So I'll stand sideways. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go like this. It's like we're cutting paper. Our legs and arms are the scissors. It's nice and easy. All right, good job. Now, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna do some high knees, just like this. Let's get your knee as high as you can. Getting our leg muscles loosened up, ready for our workout today. Our workout today, we're gonna be using our legs a lot, so they need to be ready. Knees up as high as you can. Feeling it. Getting out of breath, just doing it. All right, good, let's do some arm circles like we did yesterday. Getting those shoulders loosened up, arms ready to go. We'll do a few exercises today that involve our arms. We wanna make sure those are ready. Loosened up, feel the burn. All right, let's go, like we're hugging ourselves. Give yourself a big hug. And you can reach way back, hug yourself. All right, bring your arms like this. In, out, in, out, in, out. All right. All right, so for today's workout, we have nine exercises, and we're gonna do all of them in a row. And today, we're not doing worrying about reps, we're worrying about time. So we're gonna do each exercise today for 30 seconds. And you're trying to get as many reps as you can get in those 30 seconds. So if you need to take a breather during exercise, that's fine, but just push yourself to do as many reps as you can. All right, so we're ready to get started. Our first exercise, it's called a jump squat. It looks like this. A squat down, a jump up. Just like that. So we're gonna do that for 30 seconds. And here we go in three, 
two, one, let's go. Try to jump as high as you can. Lift your knees up. Try to keep your back straight. Feeling it. Just to really get your heart rate going. Starting to feel the burn already. Woo. Here we go. Coach Floyd getting tired. Woo. All right. All right. Next up we have tire jumps. What you're gonna do, feet are gonna be together. The inside leg is gonna jump and then they'll touch. Like that. Everybody got it? We're gonna do it for 30 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Look, like you're jumping in the tire, out of the tire. In the tire, out of the tire. Try to get those legs up in the air, lift those feet up. Remember, if you jump like this, you'll ship over the tire. So you gotta jump out of the tire. Out of the tire. Hopefully your heart rate's nice and steady right now. Got a nice sweat going. Hopefully you're looking at your sibling and saying, hey, I feel skinny. Good job. All right, number three, we got side steps. It's kind of like a little dance move. I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna go one, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. You can go fast, you can go slow. All right, here we go in three, two, one, let's rock. One, two, three, four, five, six. You need to go slow, that's okay, as long as you're moving your body. Or if you wanna to try to go fast, you can, but it's three steps. Get that knee up on the third step. Here we go. Keep pushing. Don't stop. Good job. Now right, we're ready for number four. These are called slow motion push-ups. And for push-ups, you can do it two different ways. You can do it the regular way, feet on the ground, or you can modify it by putting your knees on the ground. Remember, bend your elbows. A slow motion push-up is exactly what it says. You're just going slow, real slow. All right, everybody ready? All right, let's start in three, two, one. Here we go. Nice and slow. Really engage those chest muscles. Get them burning. Try to keep your back straight. Look straight ahead. Don't worry about the time. Just worry about the reps. You go super slow. Or you can just go a little bit slow. It's up to you. Good job. Before you know it, it's done. All right, I'm sure you got a nice sweat going here. Forgot to tell you, if any time during the warm up or the exercises you need a water break, please step out, get you some water, and step back in. We'll make sure everybody's staying hydrated during the workout. All right, number five is called skiers. All right, so this is our time. We're going to pretend like we're snow skiers going down the mountain. So my feet are going to be together, my hands are like I'm holding the poles, and I'm just skiing down the mountain, feet stay together. Pretty easy, right? All right, we're ready to rock and roll in three, two, one, let's get skiing. Pretend you're on some nice, beautiful mountain, skiing down the slopes, seeing deers out in the distance, hopefully not crashing into any trees or wiping out in the snow, bend those knees, Leap up in the air and have some fun. Doing good, y'all. All right, 30 seconds. Good job. All right, we are cruising right along. Remember our quote from yesterday? Get comfortable being uncomfortable. I'm sure you're like me right now. You're a little tired, a little uncomfortable, but we got to push through. We're almost to the end. Next up, we're gonna do some Supermans. I have a mat right here. You don't have to have a mat, but if you do, you're gonna lay down on your stomach like this, arms out, legs out, like you're Superman, you're flying. And all you're gonna do is lift your hands and arms and feet off the ground and hold it for a second, and then put it back down. And then up, and then down. Everybody got it? All right, we're gonna go in three, 
two, one, let's rock. Hold it, down, hold it, down. Hold it, hold it for longer, a little longer, down. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Fight it, don't let it down, down. Up, down. Pretend you're flying through the sky, looking for somebody to save, looking for somebody to rescue. Doing good, all right, hold this one for a really long time. Hold it, push, 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 and stop. Great job, everybody. All right, y'all, great job. Up next, we have knee raisers. So for this one, you're gonna do 30 seconds with both knees. So I'm gonna do 30 seconds like this. My hands are together, right knee to hands, down. 30 seconds with this one. And then when I say switch, you'll go the other way. Left knee, 30 seconds. So you're just hitting that knee, lifting it up in the air. This is not a balance, it's actually kind of fun. All right, so we're gonna get started in three, two, one, let's go. This is great exercise for your stomach muscles, really working those abs and those core muscles. You can go as fast as you want. You can go slow, but it's really fire that knee up. Doing great, y'all. This is a fun one. Almost time to switch to the other knee. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Doing good, doing good. Almost there. All right, let's switch. Left knee. One knee might be harder than the other because sometimes one leg's stronger than the other. Remember, just push through, fight it, don't stop. Great job, everybody. You get off balance like me, it's okay, just keep going. Awesome, y'all. Almost there. Keep going, keep going. And good job. All right, y'all, we're doing good. We're almost there, two more to go. This next one's called Plank Mountain Climbers. Now, earlier we did Standing Mountain Climbers. Now we're gonna do Plank. So I have my mat, I'm just gonna put my hands on it. Again, you don't have to have a mat. So all you're gonna do for this one, hands here, straight, and it's like you're doing this. Switching out legs, all right? We're gonna do it for 30 seconds. In three, two, one, let's climb the mountain. Working your core muscles, working your triceps. Really good total body workout right here. Keep climbing. Slow and steady. If you need to go slow, because you're tired, that's fine. Or if you're feeling good, push it. See how fast you can go. See if you can go faster than me. I'm an old man. Good job, y'all. We're almost at the top of the mountain. And stop. Good job. All right, y'all, we have arrived at the last workout of the exercises. We're gonna do some jabs with our left hand, jabs with our right hand. We'll do 30 seconds on one side, 30 on the other. So when I'm doing this, if I'm using my left hand, left leg's in front like this, and I'm going like that. Right hand stays there, all right, protecting your face. At 30 seconds, we'll switch. Left hand protects, right hand swings. Pretty fun. Pretty easy. Picture somebody you've been wanting to punch for a long time that you know you can't do in real life because you'll get arrested or in trouble or written up by Coach Foy. So pretend right now. This is your free chance. All right, we're going to start in three, two, one. Let's box. Be on, the, be on the balls of your feet, on your toes. Your feet are like springs. Right hand's protecting that face. Left hand's knocking somebody out. Remember, just for pretend, not in real life. Remember PSA, Coach Foy did not give you permission to punch somebody. Keep punching. Try to use good form, use that body, swing that body into it. Doing good. All right, let's switch. Right arm, left hand's protecting. Right foot's forward, balls of the feet, springing forward, delivering in a, a knockout blow. Somebody tried to steal your Nintendo, you're mad at them, just want to punch them. Almost there, so close, doing good, finish strong, and stop. Awesome job, y'all. All right, y'all, awesome job. We just completed a whole round of the exercises. I encourage you, if you're feeling okay, try to do the whole thing one more time or two more times, all right? 
but make sure after you're complete with your workout, take some time to cool down and stretch your muscles. It'll help you not be a sore for our next one. Very important, definitely like two or three minutes when you're done to stretch your body. Great job today. I'll see you next workout. And remember, you feel skinny because you just worked out. Good job. It's gonna be a hard workout for